Hello everybody, Richard Dickhoffer, 616, how are you? About a week ago, I did a video called We Don't Need Another Christian Dictator, which was a response to a now deleted video by Catholic bigoted fucking dribbling twat face Mike Voritz. This video is no longer available on his channel, and it was basically him advocating some sort of religious based theocratic dictatorship. This video got him in a lot of trouble, so he deleted it from his website. One or two people pointed out to me that he already explained himself and he has already made it clear that he does his this is what he meant and he clarified it and blah blah blah. Well, in the interest of fairness, I thought I should respond to the clarification video that Mike made, uh, which is called Angry Atheists. <laughs> I think it's only fair that I have an introduction too. Go! Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex. We spent some time thinking about how much to reveal in this Vortex about the responses we received from atheists. I want to see the top of your fucking head. When I suggested the phrase, a benevolent dictator, I could have been a little more precise. Hmm. Hmm. A better use of terms would have been a Catholic monarchy. Yep, that's the ticket. A Catholic monarchy. Oh! Oh, thank you. That's so much better. Skipping minor details about choice of words and the hair splitting over... I think you're the last person who should talk about splitting hairs, Mike. ...over the difference over democracy and democratic republic, they completely understood what we were saying. Yeah, sure. Western civilization would be better off if it were a Catholic monarchy. That's pretty much the same fucking thing, Mike. How this comes about, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? Do you fucking know? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Do you fucking know? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I think you said how you fucking comes about, Mike. We only allow the faithful to vote. People who are not faithful, or in this case Catholic, are not allowed to fucking vote. That's what you said. The point wasn't to publicize a battle plan for overthrowing a secular humanist government. Oh, no, not at all. No, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't suggesting we do that. I wasn't suggesting we do that. I mean, I think we should, think we should do that. But I just think it'd be better like this. But I'm not going to suggest we do that. So you think the world would be better off, but you're not advocating it. What the fuck, dude? It was to point out that we are already living under a dictatorship. So what are you complaining about? To borrow the Pope's phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a great fucking source of information. Pairing that phrase, I suggested a benevolent dictatorship. And as I pointed out, that is a self-defeating fucking term! Well, that brought out all those sad sack boo birds. He's talking about me! And for the record, we're not pointing viewers to the thousands of comments floating around out there on the internet. Don't worry, I'm here to fucking point them out to you. But if you want to go hunt for yourself, I suggest you make sure you have the stomach for the most foul-mouthed, Catholic bashing, invective-filled hate speech you've ever read in public forums. Fuck you, you cunt nugget! With a pitiful, laughable lack of knowledge of history, not to mention theology. Oh yeah, Mike, because Catholic-run fucking dictatorships, uh, they've got a great history, haven't they? Atheist zealots have descended on real Catholic TV with all the enmity of Satan himself. If you think Satan is, as, is so fucking bad that the worst he can do is troll your fucking website, I'm not too scared of him. By the way, they may not believe in him now, but they will. Ooh, so... <laughs> it only takes a couple of postings for all the vile to come spewing forth. <laughs> a number of them attack the Eucharist, the Pope, and especially the priesthood. I did not attack the Pope, the Eucharist, or the priesthood, Mike. I don't blame the Pope for all the fucking stupid shit you say. He's got enough fucking trouble to worry about. I won't repeat some of the extreme blasphemy uttered about our blessed Lord in the Eucharist, but... I will! It is filled with expletives and the most coarse language available to the vocabulary-challenged atheist set. Yeah, you fucking... Wally! But in a way, their response should be instructive. It was instructive! I told you to go fuck yourself! See, the whole point of that Vortex episode was to reveal that Catholics need to start seeing the world for what it is, for what it has always been ruled by a hate-filled angelic monster that wants to destroy, or as St. Peter says, roam about like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. 
when God the Father says to the serpent in the garden, What's in the name of a blood fucking soaked anus filled fucking carpet from a gay termite orgy in Long John Silver's wooden leg are you banging on about? And I will put hatred between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. He wasn't kidding. The only thing the Catholic Church has been put in between their offspring and man is a fucking dick. People more than you know hate the Catholic Church and what she teaches. And I mean hate. And it's really because they hate themselves. Oh, of course. What a fucking great argument that is, Mike. It's because I hate you. People aren't capable of emitting that much hate against other people unless they are filled with self-hate. Well, then why don't you shut the fuck up, then? They are in love with evil. They're trapped by it. Well, then we're motivated by love, you dumb twat. Don't, th don't you hate things like abortion, uh, gay marriage, and all these other, th and moral relativism, and all these, don't you hate all these fucking things, too? So you're motivated by hate, too? Love the sin and not the sin. Love the sin and not the sin. Bull fucking shit. But what they fail to realize in their adulterous, I wish, or chemically addicted, or occasionally, money worshipping, or I don't fucking think so, attention crazed, yeah, or power hungry, or uh, no, not really, or over the top. I am not over the top, you fucking wanker. Self consciousness, pride filled, or otherwise promiscuous lives. Would you get to the sodding point? Here's the point: they are chained by their passions and fears. Oh, as opposed to what? What else should we do chained by, Mike? Are you not chained by your passions and fears? Because if you are, you're not much fucking better, really, are you? What does the church offer? Simply this. Bullshit! To move from a monarchy of hate to a monarchy of love. I tell you what, let's go to some fucking predominantly Catholic AIDS-infected fucking village in Africa and see how the fucking monarchy of love is doing there, shall we? Who would you prefer for your monarch? Christ? Or Satan. I'm sorry, are those the two options on the voting? <laughs> Who's you got, Christ or Satan? Talk about a fucking two-party system that's doomed to failure. Because in the end, you and I will bow to one. You wouldn't bow down, your fucking wig would fall off. Choose wisely. Oh, I will. Richard the Dick Coughlin, 616. Good night, may God be less. Twat.